Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Bryce Lewis. I thought I'd do a short video about what's in my gym bag based off of uh, Brandon Campbell's Diamond, just doing one recently. Um, another member of uh, Citadel Nutrition that I'm a member of. So, I don't actually use all of this stuff, but um, you know, it's just the stuff that I keep on hand. Lifting belt, this is an Inzer lever belt, 10 millimeter. I found this to be um, extremely valuable for me and it's the only one I've ever bought and it's lasted me five, six years or something like that with no signs of you know being any worse for wear. This is the uh, charcoal color, I believe, and everything is held up extremely well. So good investment, um, definitely. Been lucky enough, uh, Silent Mike sent me the slingshot along with a pair of the Eric Lillibridge knee wraps. So I've been playing around with these. These knee wraps are actually a little bit too stiff for my purposes, but um, it's a nice thing to keep on hand. And my general idea is, uh, as long as you have space for it, you may as well bring it. Here's the other one as well. What else? Set of rebands. These are again, the only knee sleeves I've ever bought. Um, they've also held up extremely well. They do well in the wash. They fit tight, they fit snug, they provide some good support, so um, I do suggest these. I haven't given the SPDs a try, but I just don't want to put out $90 for another pair right now. Digging deeper into the main compartment, we've got the dead wedge. Um, and this is actually a nice little thing to use. Uh, it helps you load plates on the bar. You just roll the bar up and toss some plates on and roll it back down. You know, and for how small it is, it's, uh, it's a nice advantage. In the main compartment here, we've got just a bunch of bands. So I've got the strong band from Rogue, and then I have sets of bands as well. So we're looking at the light bands from Elite FTS, the averages, the um, micro minis, um, and then some short 12 inch bands, and a few bands to warm up with. I would leave these at the gym, but you know I sometimes use them at home, so I just like carrying them with me. Finally, in the main compartment, we've got screwdriver to adjust the belt and this is something I rarely use but it's good to have on me. I've actually had to use it for other people that have worked out with me more than for myself. Um, and finally a small thing of baby powder for deadlifts occasionally. Um, again something that's something I don't really use very often. Going to the side compartment here I keep my wrist wraps here so I have a pair of Titan, sorry um, not Titan, is it? I think it is. Titan Signature wraps, and these are the 24 inch ones. I also have the 18 inch wraps because they sent me the wrong size, so lucky enough to have two, just so I get less wear on them. Um, and I also keep the old wraps that I have, but just don't use as my main set. So here's a pair. And these are nice for things that you need some support, but you don't need to be bow constrictor tight. I like to use these on shoulder presses occasionally, and Olympic lifting occasionally. Um, Finally, if I were to use knee wraps, these are the ones I would use. They're Elite FTS 200 centimeter ones. And I like these because they're a little bit more stretchy and they're not as rigid. And for a high bar narrow stance squatter, this is something that would benefit me a little bit more. Finally, two Voodoo flosses in this compartment. The thick one or the X band. And I use this mainly for rehab or injury prevention purposes on the lower body and this one on the upper body. So. Um, good things to have, not things that are essential, but things that are just nice to keep in the bag. Finally, going to the last compartment here, a few more warm-up things. This is a TheraBand that I use for stretches once in a while for warm-ups in the upper body. This gets used pretty frequently, and I think this is something I found actually at one of my old gyms. Um, kind of a lucky find. Two products by J.R. Watkins. We have a pain-relieving liniment. Um, this is a liquid liquid product, so it kind of goes on as a liquid, and then a balm, and this is more like a, uh, a lotion. And this goes on as well for shoulders or anything that you want some extra heat on. Kind of has a menthol smell, probably familiar with products like Tiger Balm, it's very similar. Uh, some athletic tape for wrapping things up and uh, just for general use. It's come in handy a few times. Um, these are the yoga tune-up balls that I think Kelly Starr recommended in one of his videos, and they come in this pouch, which kind of doubles as a, uh, a peanut, but they're a little bit softer than a lacrosse ball, so it's a nice transition in between. And speaking of lacrosse balls, here is one, so they're the exact same size, it's just a little bit softer, actually a good deal softer. So 
Nice for working into more tender spots or things where you don't want to just jam something rock hard in. So, got those, two of those, and I think that was pretty cheap as well. Um, custom peanut that I made quite a while ago with some kinesiology tape thrown over the top, and these are lacrosse balls underneath. Something I, again, don't really use all that often. I find myself doing more um, static stretching after my workouts, not really so much um, self myofascial release. But, there's my, oh, sorry, there's not my kids. A few more things. Front pouch, I just have a set of um, lifting straps. These are from Elite FTS, and this white band that you see is actually some rubberized gripping there. So when I need straps, this is what I reach for. Uh, finally, just a business card holder, just in case we run into someone that needs business cards. I have some ready. Um, and that concludes the bag tour. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, train hard.